Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise.
among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence, whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from the heart, whose tongue is never used for slander. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence. Whoever does no wrong to friends, nor spreads false rumours about neighbours, who does not praise those God condemns, but blesses those who serve their maker. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence. Whoever keeps each solemn promise, no matter what the cost, who lends without demanding interest, and can't be bribed to hurt the innocent. God, who may live in your house, who may remain in your presence. Those who behave in this way will always remain secure. They will live in God's house. They will remain in God's presence. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning to read at verse 14. When Jesus, with Peter, James and John, came to the disciples, there was a great crowd around them and some scribes arguing with them. When the whole crowd saw him, they were immediately overcome with awe and they ran forward to greet him. He asked them, What are you arguing about with them? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son. He has a spirit that makes him unable to speak, and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, but they could not do so. Jesus answered them, you faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. 
When the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. It has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You spirit that keeps this boy from speaking and hearing, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. After crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he was able to stand. When he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, This kind can come out only through prayer. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. from Noma Lady in Gugoletu, South Africa. God is love to me and God is amazing even though I am not strong physically in terms of my health. Even though things are difficult, I continue to go down on my knees and pray. And from time to time, I see God responding to my prayer. I don't know how I could praise God's name in the way it, that is befitting God's greatness. I do not have the instruments appropriate enough to make the music that would truly express how I feel about God. There are times when I have sleepless nights and watch TV till morning, but I always feel comfort when I go to, on my knees and pray. I am sometimes up at 3am trying to sleep on that side or the other. There are times when the pain is so heavy 
my hand with cramps, my fingers twisting. Had I not been connected with God, I would be accusing people of causing this pain. But earlier in my life, I chose a close relationship with God, though I am poor. God is with me in the morning when I wake up. God is around during sleep and is with me as I try to walk around. I just cry knowing that God has heard my prayer. I live with great hope. Amen. Bright star maker God, travel with us through Advent. Shine into our dark corners. Lead us into ways of justice. Help us to care for our planet. Warm us with joy and wonder. Bring us to new birth. On the 15th day of the month, we pray for administrative and support staff in our mainland office. And we pray for the Community Resources Committee. We pray also for the following countries and their peoples. Peru, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of fourth. Ewan Aitken and Hilary Aitken Brown with Cara, Ursula Glinica, Carrie Gooch, Yusuf Guljari and Rosie McGee with Kane and Leo, Catherine Gordon, Tom Gordon and Mary, Yvonne Morland, Leslie Orr, Urig Scandrit, Ian Wilson and Shirley, Rachel Yates and Andrew Reeves. And on this 15th day of the month, we pray for associate members in the USA ENC Midwest Group. Walk with them today, O oh God and keep us on your way. O oh God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, May we preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one.